In our previous video, I showed you how to make a multicolor print like this without an AMS, inspired by the YouTube channel Make Anything. I've decided to show you guys another method on how to make something more similar to these completely flush prints that are just one layer thick. All without an AMS, let's jump right in. In Fusion, I'm going to start a sketch. I'll import a DXF file with my graphic, and it should already be to scale. Next, I'm going to extrude all of the black parts of my design 0.2 millimeters, which is the same as our layer height. After that, I'll do the same thing with the white parts of the design. This time, I'll need to change the operation to new body. Now, if you want to stop here, you can. This will leave you with a print that's one layer thick. If you want to turn this into something like a coin or a button, you could also model a solid backplate to make it thicker. I'll skip that today, but now we can save and export the whole thing as an STL file. Before we slice our model, we need to change one setting to make sure everything sticks together. Under the Quality tab in the Precision section, make sure Elephant Foot Compensation is set to zero. Next up, we'll bring our model into Bamboo Studio. The first thing you'll need to do is move your model away from the center and the back of the build plate. That's where the printer homes, so we need to avoid it. Next, right-click your model and select Split to Bodies. In the Objects panel, select all of the pieces you want to be your first color, then right-click and assemble. Do the same thing for the rest of your colors. Now, since we want to print black first, we need to uncheck the white assembly and any other colors if you have them. Slice the plate and send that over to your printer with your first color loaded. While it's printing, we'll prepare the next color. Back in the Objects panel, uncheck the black assembly and tick the white one. Slice this again, and now we just have to wait for the first print to be done. As soon as the print finishes, you want to be ready to swap out the filament for your next color. You'll want to be quick about it to make sure the bed doesn't cool down too much and release it prematurely. Remove the purge lines, but without removing the first print, go ahead and start the second one. This will print the next color directly on the same layer as the first, making for a completely flush and flat part. Here's the final result. We had some over extrusion on this one, but some tuning in Orca Slicer should fix that easy peasy. But that's all I have for you today. If you learned something new, be sure to like and subscribe for more. I hope this inspires some of you non AMS folk to make your own multicolor prints. This has been Janet. Happy printing.